I've never seen him like this before. He hasn't said a word since we left. He's thinking. Thinking about what? The coming battle. Are you ready, young one? Yes, pretty king. Wait to get me alone, huh? That's right. The silent type. I'll get you to scream. I'll get you to scream. What's wrong? Can't come up with your own words? The ability to speak does not make one intelligent. Well then, your move. And that's for Cybertron, you punk! Bulkhead, wait. Stand down. You murderer! How dare you show up here begging for help! Optimus, how could you do this to us? Why would you ever consider bringing Megatron here? Here! Of all places! It's Galvatron, you outdated motherboard! Get scrapped! I don't want to be here either, pal. No one's talking to you. Yeah. Ratchet, it is not what you think. It is the will of Thundertron to have Galvatron here with us. Did we seriously just forget RC? You guys left RC? <sighs> she stopped Soundwave from taking me. Uh, <laughs> hey, Lord Galvatron. Everyone, please! Yes. Just let me explain. This better be good. For a while now, I've been having these visions. Warnings. I think... I think it was Alpha Tryon. Alpha Tryon? Are you certain? I'm pretty sure it was him. He was warning about our extinction. He said in order to stop this, I had to find the Star Seeker. That would be me. Thundertron, thank you for aiding my Autobots. I must apologize, but I never came across the term Starseekers in my studies on Cybertron. What are you? Eons ago, before Cybertronian life began, there was only Primus, our creator. Before creating life as you know it, Primus made six creations that will be responsible for safeguarding life on Cybertron. The Star Seekers. We were tasked with venturing across the universe in search of new inhabitable planets for Primus to one day grant life. In case Cybertron failed. Where have you been all this time? We Star Seekers traveled to the farthest lengths of the universe. Some of us have perished. Others, like myself, have simply been offline and lost in the far reaches of space. How did you find us? I was the closest star seeker to feel the shift in Primus's spark. You see, our star seekers share a special link with Primus. Whenever there is a tip in the balance, it can only mean one thing. What's that? Extinction. Finally. The moment where we seize victory... Is the boss man sure he knows where the Autobot base is? There is still much you need to learn, Ripclaw. Predaking has always known the location of the Autobot base. What? The throne you will inherit it is imperfect. The land you will rule is much less. I've been training my entire life for this moment. I will be as great a Predaking as you and those before you. I am ready to serve my fellow Predacons. This planet is ravaged by violence. And if you are to become Predaking, you must learn to make the right choices. No more how difficult it may be. I will do my best to be a good Predaking. For the glory of the Predacons. Excellent. Let us put that to the test. Behold. 
Go, mighty Predaking. In this world, only the strong survive and the weak perish. That is one of our laws. That poor Predacon was simply at the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, he is paying the price. As Predaking, it will be you who establish dominance and order. End his mercy. Violence is everywhere in this world. There is no room for weakness. Do what must be done. Kill him! I... I, I can't. He didn't do anything wrong. Why would I harm those that will one day rule? Fool. These are the dark days ahead, young one. Let this be a lesson. If you aren't prepared to make sacrifices as the Preda King, then our species will pay the price. Getting tired? Don't turn your back on me. It'll burn you. What do you mean, extinction? Eons ago, when the Predacons roamed the lands of Cybertron, there was a shift in the balance. They were becoming a violent species that was slowly destroying everything in their path. Cybertron was dying. So Primus summoned me to tip the scales and restore balance. How, Vector Sigma? Correct. How did? I'll explain later. I thought the Vector Sigma was meant to give new life. It is, but it can also be reconfigured to accomplish the opposite. A reset switch! A clean slate! I arrived on Cybertron and I activated Vector Sigma to perform the planetary cleanse. The Great Cataclysm. In turn saving Cybertron, and making way for the modern Cybertronian species to emerge. What does that have to do with our extinction? Galvatron might be able to fill you in on all this. I knew the head honcho of the cards was behind all this! I'll let you right down! <laughs> Megatron. Looks like your con buddies turned their back on you. These are Decepticons. Well, they aren't Autobots, either. I think a temporary truce is in order. I guess so. We hurry and find Autobots! Wait, we cannot leave without others. Others? Stay back, scum! Medic! Come quickly! Ha! Watching him pay for his crimes is far more amusing. Today is the day, young one. I, Razor Claw, the Preda King of Cybertron, grant you passage. Let you receive the will of all prior Preda Kings before you and transform into this land's new ruler. May the sparks of our former rulers, Rampage, Dive Bomb, Tandrum, and Headstrong, guide your way. Is that the Dark Saber? It's how Megatron has been able to unlock his new form and transform into Galvatron. Having Dark Energon in your body comes at a great cost. Give me the Dark Saber. I need more. I think that's enough. I need it! There is no time for this. We must act before the Predacons make their final move. Do 
we lose them? You now carry the sparks of the five former Predakings. Do you vow to use your strength, intelligence, and leadership to rule our kind into glory? I do. Megatron, what have you done? Project Regenesis. Do you swear on your spark to sacrifice it all for the survival of the Predacons? I do! A Decepticon Reconnaissance Squad was sent to Cybertron some time ago, led by Shockwave. They were meant to locate and restore Vector Sigma. And we succeeded. Arise! Predaking, ruler of the mighty Predacons. Yes, I will, sir. No! Optimus, we have a perimeter breach. Brace yourselves. Predacons, die! 